Hi everyone, it's Citrine and I'm here to do another crystal reading for you. And this crystal reading is about moonstones. I chose moonstones because we are in the sun sign of Cancer. And one of the stones for Cancer is moonstone. This is the crystal reading from the Book of Stones and this is a source, a resource of, about crystals that I hold dearly to my heart. I call it the Crystal Bible. It has most stones in it. I love the authors and their research and what they have discovered th across the world about different crystals and gemstones. So here we go on the Moonstone Crystal Reading. Moonstone, keywords, mystery, self-discovery, intuition, insight, dreams, the goddess, element, wind, chakras, third eye the sixth, and crown the seventh. Moonstone is a feldspar mineral, a potassium aluminum silicate with a hardness of 6 to 6.5. Its crystal system is monoclinic and prismatic. Moonstone was named after its blue-white sheen, which is caused by its lamellar structure. It is found in Sri Lanka, Madagascar, Burma, Australia, India, and the United States. Moonstone was used in Roman jewelry almost 2,000 years ago and even longer ago in the Orient. It was a popular choice of jewelers during the Art Nouveau period. In India, moonstone has always been a sacred stone with a special significance for lovers. It was believed that placing moonstone in their mouths when the moon was full would allow them to see their future. Moonstone is also a traditional wedding gift there for bringing harmony to the marriage. In Europe, moonstone was said to reconcile estranged lovers and to cure sleeplessness. How cool is that? Here is the excerpt from Robert Simmons and what you will soon discover about moonstones is there are quite a few different varieties with different color tones. So you might want to collect a few different specimens of moonstones for they all have different metaphysical properties about them. Robert Simmons says, Moonstone is the gem of the High Priestess, keeper of the feminine mysteries. In its reflected light, we can project and thereby observe the hidden truths that reside in the depths of ourselves out of the light of consciousness. Moonstone is a talisman for the inward journey and meditation with it can take one deep into the self. What is revealed there is often recognized as the missing piece or pieces to the puzzle of one's life. Parts of the soul that have been left behind or forgotten. Moonstone can also take one on a journey into past lives. It is an ideal stone to wear during past life regression sessions. It can reveal to women their feminine power and their connection to the goddess. For men, it allows the expression of the feminine side, an important step on the path to wholeness. Now, Naisha's excerpt is a little bit longer, and then we go into the different varieties here. So, Naisha Asian, Moonstone is a stone of mystery. It has often been associated with the feminine because of its ability to enhance the intuitive side of the mind. Moonstone has long been valued in helping one move closer to the Great Mother. When Moonstone is employed by females, it initiates the Kundalini energy and promotes the psychic ability of clairvoyance. When utilized by males, it stimulates the right side of the brain, encouraging nonlinear thinking and emotional balance. In both sexes, it its frequency aids in clearing the aura, activating the 6th and 7th chakras and the central chakric column of energy. Moonstone has been used for centuries to connect with the energy and power of the moon. The moon plays a vital role in the health of the Earth Mother. Her tides and rhythms are governed by the pull and release of the moon woman. The cycles of the moon have a strong effect on the beings who inhabit the Earth as well. 
Consider the strange behaviors of animals and people during the full moon, or the fact that the term lunatic referred originally to someone believed to, believed to be moonstruck. The frequency of moonstone encourages us to pay attention to the cycles of our lives. Each cycle we complete takes us one level higher on the great spiral. With each cycle, our wisdom, understanding, and self-knowledge are increased. Moonstone asks us to celebrate the milestones and rites of passage each new cycle brings. Just as the moon herself grows full and wanes, so too do the aspects of our lives. Spiritual. Moonstone evokes patience and appropriate action. It teaches one the value of working with divine timing instead of railing against its sometimes ponderous pace. Every creation one undertakes has stages of growth, just as a plant does. Moonstone teaches one to identify the current stage of one's creation and to act appropriately for the proper nurturance of that stage. For instance, if your creation is in the very beginning stages of growth, it may be counterproductive to attempt to harvest it. You would not pull a seedling in an attempt to get it to grow faster. Yet, that is precisely what impatience would have us do while we wait for our creation to manifest. Moonstone allows understanding of the proper action at the proper time in order to nurture and eventually reap the harvest of our creations. Moonstone is a powerful stone for psychic awareness and intuition. Psychic ability allows one to open to outside guidance from higher beings. Moonstone enhances these communications and assist one in applying them at the proper time. Moonstone can help one become attuned to one's guides and follow their guidance in order to take appropriate action. Emotional. Moonstone can help one sort through one's emotions and gain a higher perspective on their meaning and purpose. It can aid in releasing frustration and surrendering to the natural progress of the cycles of life. It enhances patience and helps one remain objective when receiving empathic information from others. Physical. Moonstone is a traditional stone for attuning to the ebb and flow of the moon's energies. For this reason, it can be helpful in stabilizing female cycles. It can help males become attuned to the subtle hormonal shifts they experience during the moon phases. It can also be used to help balance water retention. Affirmation. I call forth the energies of the deep feminine and I open myself to the inner gifts of the goddess. I like to hold the crystal that I'm doing the affirmation for, stand in a powerful stance, and recite the affirmation aloud in a passionate way with conviction and belief in what I'm saying and calling forth the action and resonating with the frequency of the stone. That's how I do my affirmations. I highly recommend you do the same. So here are little excerpts on the different types of moonstones. The affirmation that I just read is for all the types of moonstones. So whether you have one of these different varieties, uh, the affirmation is the same for all of them. So, one variety of moonstone is the cat's eye moonstone. Cat's eye moonstone promotes clarity of the mind and inner vision. It helps one remain focused while in a meditative or altered state of awareness. Cat's eye moonstone assists one in perceiving the emotional lessons and implications underlying current life experiences. It is excellent for those who desire deeper insight into the emotional patterns of themselves or others. Cat's Eye Moonstone carries a wonderful balance of yin and yang energies, helping to balance these forces within one's energy field. Gray Moonstone, which I believe is also what you might technically consider Black Moonstone. Um, gray Black Moonstone, you'll, when you look it up online, you'll see it pop up. If you type in gray, it'll also say black. So gray or black moonstone. <clears throat> gray moonstone is a stone of perceiving beyond the veil. It is a powerful stone for clairvoyant, for the clairvoyant and the shaman assisting one in moving into the unseen realms. Gray moonstone is also called new moonstone and it does carry the mysterious and powerful energies of the new moon. 
wherein all things in exist as potential. It is a powerful magnifier of intention and can assist one in bringing forth creations from the void. Peach moonstone, which I believe you would also call like a pink moonstone. I have pink moonstones, so peach or pink moonstones. Peach moonstones, gentle, loving energy supports the heart as it stimulates the mind. It allows one to perceive the positive, loving existence of the divine in all situations. It can help soothe worry or anxiety while assisting one in celebrating the positive experiences in one's life. Peach Moonstone carries a soothing energy for the emotional body and is excellent for use by intuitive or sensitive children. Next is White Moonstone. White Moonstone represents the energy of the full moon at the height of its power. It stimulates all aspects of psychic perception and can enhance vision and dream work. Just like the full moon, white moonstone can magnify one's emotions. Used by women, it activates the kundalini energy and opens the inner eye. Its energy aids men in reaching emo emotional balance and in developing their receptive power. And lastly, there is the rainbow moonstone, which I believe you probably have seen the most. It has the bluish sheen to it, and it's called a rainbow moonstone for that aspect of it. It has a rainbow sheen, almost like a Labradorite, but it's a moonstone and it's a white, white stone with the rainbow glow into it. Rainbow moonstone acts as a prism that diffuses energy throughout the aura. It assists in clearing the psychic senses and the mind and brings the frequency of joy to one's energy field. It is a positive protection stone, helping to deflect negativity and densities before they enter the energy field. It is particularly good for psychic protection and for maintaining clarity of energy while working on an intuitive level. Rainbow Moonstone can be helpful in clearing the emotional body as well and can be used to ease emotional trauma. Now, Robert Simmons wrote, these remarkably beautiful gemstones emanate great vitality, life force, and exuberant joy. Rainbow moonstones offer the gifts of the inner peace and harmony, emotional balance and strength, purification and transformation of negativity, as well as psychic protection. These traits are common to moonstones generally. However, rainbow moonstones seem to vibrate much more powerfully than most other varieties so one gets a more noticeable dose of these beneficial energies. In addition, Rainbow Moonstone can facilitate the alignment and activa activation of all the chakras, while helping one maintain a clear sense of groundedness and centeredness. These gems are powerful healers of the emotional body. They are recommended for anyone who suffers from daily stress or who carries old emotional wounds or grief. Rainbow Moonstones promote a healthy optimism which allows one to overcome obstacles and difficult people and that can sustain one through dark times. They are stones of great light and they aid one in kindling the inner light of the heart. Just as each piece of Rainbow Moonstone looks different from any other, so these stones remind us that our individuality is precious and valuable. They can help us find the courage to be cheerfully true to ourselves, even when we're under pressure to surrender to others. They can also facilitate activation of the rainbow body of light, the spiritual vehicle by which our individual consciousness can travel throughout the many of inner worlds. Rainbow moonstones are aligned with the energies of the goddess and they can help one successfully empower the feminine aspects of oneself. Through the goddess connection of the rainbow moonstone, one can also commune with the energies and spirits of nature, from plant divas to galactic consciousness. Rainbow moonstone harmonizes well with sunstone, labradorite, black jade, amber, golden labradorite, moldavite, amethyst, jet, and Tibetan tektite. Moonstone is one of my grandmother's favorite stones, and I always make her a piece of jewelry with 
rainbow moonstones. I have several pieces of moonstone jewelry available at citrinetangerine.com. I have several crystal aura bracelets which have been on display in the background of this video and you can find them at citrinetangerine.com and click shop. Scroll down to crystal aura bracelets. Every purchase of a crystal aura bracelet or jewelry comes with a crystal reading similar to the one that I just read aloud that gives you a, the definitions and the metaphysical meanings of these gemstones where they come from and how you can use them to enhance your personal power so thank you have a great day